people think, well, the transition started, you know, on election day. No, it didn't. For us, it started well into, uh, you know, the summer. Outgoing Mayor David Condon says he's been working to make sure Mayor-elect Nadine Woodward doesn't miss a beat when she takes office to kick off 2020. Guess what? Uh, at 12.01 uh, on December 31st, uh, the 911 calls continue, garbage needs to be picked up, uh, folks' uh, uh, streetlights need to work, the operation needs to continue. While he hasn't spoken with Woodward directly yet, he says the administration began a 100-day transition plan long ago. I was not given that benefit of having uh, that level of transition. And, you know, there, this is a big job. It's a $1.1 billion corporation, uh, some 2,000 plus employees. And he says the first and most important step is picking the right people. The administration is not one person. Uh, the administration is a team effort. It'll be those people the new mayor will have to lean on to face tough tasks right away, says Condon. And of course, right now we're dealing with a lot of homelessness and the middle of winter is when that becomes the most critical. How big of a challenge is Nadine Woodward going to face taking over at that point in the year? Well, like I said, it's a, it's a bridge between uh, the professional staff uh, that are here that, that deliver on that every day. And so uh, the mayor-elect will have her opportunity to put those teams together, but it's done through our partners that have uh, been doing this for decades uh, and not just here in Spokane. Condon feels the current government has set the city on a good path, one he expects the next government will stay close to. How hopeful are you that she'll retain some of your key staff and your objectives? The One Spokane Strat uh, Strategic Plan is a community strategic plan. Many people in this community were part of that. I saw uh, the mayor-elect's campaign about talking about public safety. That's the first goal statement, which is we want to be the safest city of our size. And in reflecting on this election, the mayor says all the candidates have done something good for the city. They all engaged uh, our community in a way uh, that uh, with people that may not have been engaged before. And, and that's exciting. And that's what local government is about. As you heard Condon mention there, the actual transition happens literally as 2019 becomes 2020. That also means the current administration still has 55 days to go. Mark?